Police arrest a man involved in a road rage incident caught on camera in San Jose. Plus, Bart is going paperless. That and more coming up on Synced In. Hi there, Diana San Juan here. We're going to start out with this video. Police have arrested a man who they say critically injured a dog after smashing a car's rear window. You can see the exact moment it happened here. It all started as a road rage incident in the area of Capitol Expressway and Tolly Road in San Jose on November 11th. Police say two men in a car initiated the road rage incident with another car that was being driven by a man who had a woman and two dogs in the car. Then, while at a red light, a third man, later identified as Armando Cano, you could see him right here, got out of his car, walked up to the victim's car, climbed onto the back, and shattered the rear window. Some of that glass got into one of the dog's eyes. Police arrested Cano on November 22nd, and he was booked into jail for felony vandalism, battery, and animal abuse. Well, guys, if you ride the BART, you're going to want to listen to this. Paper tickets are now a thing of the past. Starting Thursday, BART is paperless. The transit system is moving to a clipper-only payment system. Riders can get it on their phones for free and are able to add funds to it using Apple Pay and Google Pay. Then, those funds will be immediately available for use. The change comes as BART begins to roll out new fare gates that won't be compatible with paper tickets. So, what if you still have money on those paper tickets? Well, BART says there's no way to transfer those funds over to a clipper card, but they will be refunding any paper ticket with more than $1 on it. For more information on how to get those refunds, go to NBCBayArea.com. All right, well, we've all seen all kinds of influencers on social media, right? Well, I want to talk to you about one that makes us Bay Area proud. Meet Andy Wonk, who goes by Pengweather online. He has traveled across the Bay Area cleaning out illegal dumping sites. He then uploads time-lapse videos and before and after pictures like the ones you see here. And his content has actually gotten a lot of attention. It's like an art, seeing the before and afters. I've seen people, you know, post kind of what they've been doing for their neighborhoods and the stuff that they've been doing to try and keep their neighborhood clean. And it just really feels nice to know I've inspired them. Well, he's inspired them so much that he actually got a group of people out to Livermore to do a cleanup this past weekend. He hopes others will make an effort to keep the Bay Area clean. For the full story, go to NBCBayArea.com slash Bay Area Proud. All right, guys, that does it for us today. Thanks for watching.